Welcome back friends, I'm Juliet and today is Tuesday and this is our fourth week of our self-love yoga practice. So I want to hear how you spend your Monday. Let's reflect on that together in the comments and today I prepare for you an amazing quote which I can relate really deeply. Love is all about to fall in love with yourself. So then you can give that love and share that love with someone special who appreciates you as a person rather than looking for love as a compensation of deficit of your own self-love. Unfortunately, I can relate to this quote very deeply. That's how I was living my life for the big part of my adulthood, I would say. But we all growing, learning, exploring, achieving and changing. And again, let's think about this deeply. Love is all about to fall in love with yourself. So then you can share that love with someone special who can appreciate you. Rather than looking for love as a compensation and deficit for your own self-love. I think it's a brilliant quote, so let's keep it in mind in this practice. And I want to begin this practice with you guys with the active flow to let the blood go this morning. And then we're going to practice asanas for our heart to open that heart so we can share that love with others, right? So let's begin up here in a tabletop, up and down, just a few warming up, cat and cows as always. Very good flow at any place, office, while you're traveling, in the airplane, maybe even, I don't know. <laughs> and let's go ahead and find ourselves in the downward facing dog straight, your knees, your calves, your hamstrings, relax your neck, give it a few pads, and then go ahead, look forward guys, bend your knees, hover, take it back. Exhalation, hover again and take it back. Exhalation, oh, I'm tearing up thinking about that quote actually. And how long did it take me to learn that love is about giving and sharing and not looking for someone who is going to give you that sensation of love. So I want to hear from you what this quote mean for, means for you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and take the one leg up if you can. If not, set your knee on the floor and don't hurry and just do this is in your, <clears throat> in your tabletop rather than hover tabletop, open up, expand and then go ahead and send that foot back, take the knees back, exhalation, do it one more time and hover if you can if you can't then definitely set that knee on the floor stay strong guys let's wake up and all the way exhalation open up and explore take it all the way back look underneath and few active ankle toes touches whichever you can reach in through that nose out through that nose keep on breathing active and come with me towards your plank. You can set, guys, your knees on the floor. Don't worry if you can't have your plank, hold your plank for lower. We're growing, learning, getting stronger together. We're going to do a few toe taps on the side to wake up the waistline. And then we're going to bring the knees on the floor. Start with a few variations of camel pose. And we will finish in the puppy pose to open up our heart for that love. And a couple more. Whew. And knees on the floor. Excellent team. Let's go ahead and bring the forehead. Child pose. Come on back up with me. We're going to practice our camel pose. So we will begin very simple. Toes tucked. Reach up. You don't have to overdo that camel pose right over the right. Up and open. Express through the heart. Expand through the rib cage, guys. And then go ahead and simply switch. All the way. Simply switch back let's do one more on each side maybe a little bit deeper and all the way back take it all the way to the center let's straight in the downward facing dog good reposing asana to straight after camel pose or any active back bands 
take it back on the floor this time guys we're going to take the right leg up front it's challenging already just to find the balance here if you want to stay just up here with the hands on the back you can do it or you can come with me we're going to take the right arm up left on the heel be mindful my friends don't overdo it please hips forward active legs active core keep on breathing mm, gorgeous good job guys take it all the way back take the left hand on the floor extend the back knee if you will you don't have to and open up in the reverse runner lunge keep on breathing very good heart half and open and let's take it back switch we're going to put our left knee up front you can just use your hands on the back you can also come with me take your left arm and take your right on the right heel make sure that you activate the legs and the core see if you can take the heart up and forward and level the shoulders do not overdo it just to catch up the balance here is already a big deal breathe calm down heart up and open expand it radiate that loft is a universe it's a circulation let's take it back all the way and take the hand you don't have to bring the knee off the ground but if you will go ahead for a good soft rotation in the hips in the lower back and of course hard don't overdo on that one shoulder shoulders are stacked and one follows another take it all the way back beautiful take your knees on the floor spread them wider guys and set your tailbone in directly in between your knees so you have a good quality puppy pose and start to settle your heart up there we're just going to spend a minute here we're going to do a couple variations and you don't have to progress if you feel that you're not ready but if you will feel ready then go ahead and progress with me the next one we're doing we will take the one arm up front and another one all the way on the bottom if your neck your chest your shoulders is not ready for that that is totally fine let's bend just a breath or two here very good job guys let's slowly switch so we just simply take the other arm up front and the first one under your knees take your time it doesn't have to be crazy damn try to remain the good good alignments healthy alignments in the back in the shoulders in the spine we never want to overdo it so tomorrow we can practice right rising that self-love practicing from loving place not from the eager to impress ourselves let's come back to the center take your hands wider and do just a supported push up but it's more like to open the heart than for the arms and release the tension from the neck do a couple more up and open draw some navel in and one more time set your chest on the floor hold your elbows up and elevated take your chin on the ground if you can if not put your head guys on the side and close your eyes looking inside looking that self-love within cultivating it within so it's a daily practice and let's come back to the center bring your bows knees together coming up with me to the center i hope it woke you up this morning guys let's reach all the way up and before i will let you go for this tuesday let's remember this quote let's take the arms up draw everything from the universe inside that heart you want to draw today love is all about falling in love guys with yourself so then you can share this love with someone else special who appreciates you as a person rather than looking for love as a compensation of deficit of our own self-love 
So thank you so much for spending your Tuesday morning with me today. I wish you a wonderful day. Live with this quote, apply it to your life. Let me know what it did to your day. I truly want to hear about your experience and your experience can change someone else's life. Have a wonderful day, team, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.